my first year elite and um, I was top three in the, in the ranking in Brazil. And then I moved to here thinking I was going to do well here. And then it was a big shock. Like the, the pace, the track, everything is different. And yeah, it took me ages to, to just um, start riding well here. But it was again, it was like starting from zero. Uh, hello, my name is Roger Vieira. I'm from Brazil and I'm 28 years old, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the like, south of Brazil, uh, a small town called Isara. Uh, we are quite close from the uh, beach and yeah, it's a cool, cool vibe. I uh, grew up riding bikes, a uh, little bit like skateboard as well. And yeah, just, just, yeah, it was really cool. I don't know, I think I met Roger years ago, probably when he just started, him and his brother were at, at one of the World Cups and I was like, who are these two Brazilian guys? Yeah, Wim reached out to me quite early in the season. We picked Roger for the first privateer of the year because of his performance last year. Um, he won the privateer award in Monsonan and I think he finished like 42nd in the overall and uh, that's pretty impressive for a privateer. Two, two months ago, I got, lost my job, lost my support from all large. But literally two weeks before that happened, uh, I got broken into my garage. They took my motocross bikes, uh, took my e-bike and took a few other things from my garage. Uh, so it's been like really rough like month uh, in March, but uh, now, now everything seems to, to be all sorted. Um, like obviously this opportunity here from GT, from Wii Masters with the privateer uh, thing came up and like I'm we are well beyond stoked to be part of this. For me like the hardest it's probably like I mean, I'll go to the World Cups and I'm just there by myself. Like, I don't have any help from any, anyone else. So, like, everything, it's done by me. Like, washing the bike, washing the clothing, everything, it's myself that's doing it. So, like, if I had a mechanic, if I had, like, people around to help, like, even, like, line choice in the track and um, all this sort of stuff, that, that helps a lot. This weekend I'm part of the privateer project with Louis Masters. Okay. So that's quite cool. So he got he got me like a frame and uh -huh. uh, some parts and stuff to, for the bike. And then this weekend like, I have mechanic and everything, which is pretty sick. <laughs> it's like doing factory yeah. under this weekend, so it's pretty sick it's an experience. Yeah, first run, chill. Try to do the lines I looked at track walk, uh, maybe stop in some key sections to, to see what everyone's doing. It's a whole new format this year, so I think we're coming in like kind of blind. Um, we've, we've got the blindfold on, we don't know what's going to happen, so it's going to be cool. We're already starting from the first race with, with Roger. Man. You gotta get your crew behind him and see yeah. this guy's crazy lines. I mean, yeah. it's the gnarliest lines I've ever seen ridden at such a, or even just ridden generally, yeah. is Roger and at the pace he does it. That's incredible. This week also coincides with the release of the new Fury. So um, finally, we've dropped the new downhill bike. It's been a, a year in the making. We've been on it since Fort William last year. And uh, now we drop it in the team.
Who was that? Hmm? Who was that? Obviously last year, um, yeah, everything just clicked it together. And yeah, I had like my best ever season, but it was all like step by step and learning from the mistakes and uh, yeah, lots of up and downs, but yeah. It seems like I figured it, everything out last year and managed to put some solid uh, performances and uh, just, yeah, just being confident and strong and, yeah, got the training good and everything, so everything clicked. That guy's crazy. <laughs> you are listening to Profit. My riding style is, I think, um, I consider myself like quite quite smooth. Uh, sometimes I get a bit aggressive. He finds all the edges of the track to get the smoothest line. Pretty chill to talk with everyone and uh, joke around and stuff like that. So not not really serious guy, but yeah, definitely. When I'm in the Stargate, yeah, like pretty much everything uh, disappeared. The, the words stop and I just drop down. And it's crazy to think though that I need to go fucking flat out now, and then tomorrow I need to do twice again. Flat out. If I do qualify, and if I do go to through semi-finals, which I will. My qualify run was really good. Um, I was quite surprised uh, with like the time I did and the position I got because uh, my run didn't feel that great. Like I quite had quite quite a few mistakes at the top, which kind of showed all my splits. Uh, but then I had bottom bit super good, uh, which made me, yeah, going top 20. He definitely is someone quickly to find the good lines on track. Even in the first, second run, he's already looking for the good lines. So he's, he's known for being like one of the good lines guys. Just after that section that I had a mistake in quality, my tire just think hit a sharp rock or something. Um, and as I was going through the upper curve, I could just hear like tss, 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 and the tire was flat. Knowing I belong there, um, yeah, like just just the self belief is it's it's massive. Um, yeah, like 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 now I know I know that I can, and yeah, really grateful for for everything. Yeah.